with chapter 5 now coming to an end, we're all starting to wonder what DICE has in store for chapter 6 and the next few months of Battlefield 5's Tides of War. Since coming back from their holiday break, DICE has been very quiet. They've barely released any information publicly about any of their plans, and instead they've simply let their last part of the chapter play out without interruption. And that has led many players to start to speculate about what could or could not be coming in the future. I posted my own video earlier this week theorising a naval combat focused DLC, keeping the action in the Pacific for a few more months. If you missed that video, then you can check it out down in the description. But we do now know a little bit more about Chapter 6, or at least when we're going to be learning about Chapter 6. Information is going to be coming late next week. According to community manager Jeff Braddock, in the later half of next week, the community will be given their first details about Chapter 6 and the content that that is going to bring. In his weekly debrief posted on Reddit, Jeff stated that community members should keep their eyes on official channels during the middle to the end of next week if they want to learn about that information. At the same time, it is likely that January's patch information is going to be highlighted as well, giving us details on fixes, changes and new features that will go along with Chapter 6. As I've said in past videos, there's usually a one or two week gap in between chapters for Battlefield 5 and that looks like that's going to be the case here again. Chapter 5 finishes in about four days time from now and it looks like we're going to learn more info about Chapter 6 on that same day, maybe on Thursday or Friday, with the new chapter, Chapter 6, and the January update going live a week, maybe two weeks later. So with this new information in mind about Chapter 6 then, we do still have a few things left that we can tie up. The fourth Pacific map, currently known as Jungle or Solomon Islands, that hasn't released yet. The Lunge Mine, which was supposed to be released in Chapter 5 on Week 6, I think, but it was broken. That still hasn't released yet. And the long-awaited Tank Body Customization. These are three pieces of content that have been announced in one way or another, and as of yet, they are not live or active within the game during Chapter 5. So, when are they arriving? First of all, let's talk about the Lunge Mine. This one was planned to be released right in the middle of Chapter 5 as a Tides of War unlock. It's a new gadget for the Support and Assault classes, but at the time that it was due to be released, it wasn't working properly, and so it has been delayed. It was delayed before Christmas, and it wasn't fixed in time for the December update, so now it's planned to be released in the January update, which is going to release in, what, the next 10 or 12 days or so. Now, according to Jeff Braddock on Reddit again, the Lunge Mine is now slated to become part of Chapter 6, rather than release at the end of Chapter 5 with this January update. So it may well arrive in the January update, but it's going to be an unlock available in Chapter 6. Now, this makes sense because there's no more Tides of War unlock weeks left in Chapter 5. So having it as part of Chapter 6, maybe as the first week's unlock, that would probably work best. Now, the Lunge Mine actually featured quite prominently in the Chapter 5 reveal trailer, arguably the best trailer that Battlefield 5 has had so far. So it is a shame to chalk up yet another feature that hasn't been delivered on time, but I, like most others out there, would prefer a feature that works correctly when it does launch rather than being stuck with another buggy piece of content. Then we have the upcoming jungle map, or Solomon Islands, or whatever DICE is going to call it. The other day, the dev team teased the map yet again with the release of the Besieged cosmetic set. That brought some new outfits and some weapon skins to the game for the American faction, but the image they used showed the new map in the background. The image shows off the water's edge and some rocky cliff faces, and behind the soldiers is one of the amphibious tanks. Now, based on some of the leaked mapped location names that we spoke about in a previous video, this could be Fisherman's Beach or Daybreak Beach. Kind of remains to be seen which one of those it is, but it, it fits the location. Now, this map is a little bit of an odd one because unlike the previous three Pacific maps, it was never slated to be part of Chapter 5 in the first place. Looking back to the roadmap released by DICE for the Pacific Chapter, we can see that that roadmap states that three maps will be delivered in 2019. 
and that promise has been kept by the DICE development team. Iwo Jima, Pacific Storm and Wake Island, they've all released Staggered throughout the chapter in 2019. But the statement itself lends to more maps coming in the future. Why would you say three maps in 2019 if the plan wasn't to release another map for the Pacific in 2020? Well, we now know, of course, there is a fourth map coming. That leaves us with the question as to when DICE is going to release it. Is it going to be part of Chapter 5, maybe launching on the last day of the chapter, or is it going to be in Chapter 6? I think at this point, it's more than likely going to be in Chapter 6, considering all the teases that DICE has been doing with their cosmetic bundles and putting at the end of the Wake Island trailer as well. I'm pretty confident this is a Chapter 6 map. Putting it at the end of the Wake Island trailer also suggests that we will be getting a trailer for this jungle map. At the end of the Chapter 4 trailer in the summer, we got a sneak peek at the Pacific Theatre. At the end of the Pacific trailer in October, we got a sneak peek at the Wake Island map. And now at the end of the Wake Island trailer, we've seen a sneak peek of the jungle map. So I think we should expect some sort of gameplay trailer or cinematic trailer for the map to launch in the next couple of weeks when DICE announces their plans for the next chapter. Of course, that's not official information. That's me just sort of reading into what's happened before and then making an estimation. But I would be surprised if there wasn't a trailer for this new map. And then lastly, we've got the question around tank body customization. The meme has continued all the way from launch in 2018 through all of 2019. And now we're here in 2020. 14 months after it was first marked as coming soon and the feature is still still not active within Battlefield 5. Now according to Jeff Braddock tank body customization still does not have a marked launch date which is not a statement I'm actually surprised by anymore because I've got past that point but it does make me roll my eyes in exasperation. This is a feature that Battlefield 5 used in its marketing before launch to show potential players how they could personalize their vehicles in the game to make them look unique and stand out from the rest on the battlefield. That's something DICE still hasn't delivered. It's been coming soon for a very long time. Had it been coming soon for just a couple of months after launch, okay, cool, most of us could have accepted that, but 14 full months since the launch of Battlefield 5 and one of the core customization features, which was one of the features heavily pushed on during the marketing that customization was a big feature of Battlefield 5. It was used during pre-launch trailers. It's still not active and functional. When you lay it out that way, it's easy to see why some players don't have any confidence in DICE or Battlefield 5 anymore, or why they get so upset when things don't materialize. The lack of communication around the feature as well, the fact that players have to constantly question DICE, asking for updates, that's not a good look. There's no official statement other than it's coming soon as the menu states, but I don't think it's unreasonable to think that after 14 months, we as players deserve to know more about this feature and we probably should know more about this feature. Now, the January update, which is likely the update that kicks off Chapter 6, that's currently being worked on and compiled by the DICE team. All of the fixes are being tested, all of the bugs are being unbugged. Is, is that a word? I don't think it is. Braddock, Adam Freeman and Jakob Ajmal, they're all working on building a patch notes document for the update, including all of the changes and fixes that will be implemented. And one more burning question players have is what's gonna happen to the weapon balance. Well, according to Braddock, the feedback from the community has been delivered to the DICE team about the changes they made with 5.2 and the hotfix. A lot of feedback has gone to the team apparently, and now it's in the hands of the team to do something, or not to do something, as the case may be. At this time, there hasn't been any plans shared back with the community managers to be relayed to the community, so right now we don't know what's going to happen here. Now, personally, I'd be very surprised if DICE didn't do some kind of revert to the TTK or make large changes to swing things back in the direction that they were headed with update 5.0 before all of this mess started. The huge amount of negative noise that this situation has kicked up is something that DICE could have avoided if they'd taken a more reserved approach to the changes. Instead of lumbering all of them into one patch and making all of these wide-sweeping changes, 
just before the holidays, right after the most positive period that Battlefield 5 has had so far, they could have continued their weapon tuning steps that they'd already been taking since the spring and summer of 2019, where they took individual weapon categories and then rebalanced them to make them feel a little bit different. Yes, these were still marked changes, they were quite big in some cases, but they were implemented in chunks so the community could get a feel for what had really changed and effectively give feedback on them. But instead, the entire gunplay system got changed overnight from something that most players in the core community actually really liked into something that they really didn't like. This, I think, is what caused the anger and negativity to rise so quickly in the core community. The fact that things changed so drastically overnight. It was a very quick change, but it was such a large change, it completely caught people by surprise. And the fact that DICE said they wouldn't do this again after the last time they tried it in 2018. Going back on your word with an already on-edge community is probably not going to yield the best results. And there it is, the results right in front of us after what happened with update 5.2. I really hope that DICE has heard the feedback this time around and they do make the changes that the community has been asking for. If they don't, I really don't see another big point in Battlefield 5's future for DICE to really repair their reputation here. And that could have some everlasting impact on their reputation as a studio. So then, there we go. Chapter 6 info coming next week. The Lunge Mine is now part of Chapter 6. The Jungle Map will almost certainly be part of Chapter 6. Tank body customization is now the greatest meme that DICE has ever created. And the weapon balance conversation is still somewhat up in the air. Thanks very much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any thoughts or opinions, drop them down below in the comments section. Click like on the video if you did enjoy it and make sure you're subscribed with notifications switched on. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.